Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be doing this very tricky and very easy and so cool effect. It's like uh, something happened on the bottom part of my mouth or my, my face. The mouth area is being ripped up of the skin. You can see the muscles, you can see the teeth. And my upper part of this open wound is being melting down. My skin is melting down. It's very, very, very drastic. But I really like it. You can do this effect by doing skeleton underneath or maybe zombie or something like that. It will work really well. So let's get started. I haven't used any specific special effect products, just colors. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to be doing is taking a just a um, skin shade pencil and start ske sketching what is going to be our design. We're going to sketch in where is the wound is going to be, the, the red part, and also what is the melting skin going to be. with the teeth I'm gonna be mixing a white cream color and yellow cream color and red cream color to create a shade that is gonna be a little off from white and start creating the teeth just make sure you have from time to time some melting skin so you need to go through those adding some red to the mixture and create some kind of a uh, gum shade and I'm gonna be applying all the around the entire area the inner part but I'm gonna leave between the teeth because it's gonna be black um, afterwards in a bit adding just a tiny bit more red and the star uh, with black and the star creating is going to be the muscles it's going to be just a couple of lines it's going to go from the size of the front part of the teeth to the size 
and also on the outer part of the wound area to the corners. be taking a, a little bit of brown and start dark, darking the corners, the corners that goes from uh, the borders of the wound and to the red part. I'm gonna be using the same brown to outline the entire melting skin area and then I'm gonna blend it.
wanted to clean up a little bit the borders to make it a little more nice and also I wanted to reduce that uh, blending and brown that I did in some of the areas so I used a foundation that is my skin shape. the black now to um, add it in the, um, between the upper and lower line of teeth and also between each of the teeth to outline them. I'm gonna um, uh, add some highlighters. I'm gonna be taking a beige cream shade and add it in some of the areas of the melting skin and also around the entire design, but don't go too much. To add the last touches, I'm gonna be taking a dark uh, brown or a black, and you start adding uh, from the outer part of the effect close to the inner part. And as you go in, you show more the red effect and less the dark. Also, I'll add a tiny bit of red on the teeth just to make it less white as it is. And uh, last thought is going to be taking a red, a little more vivid red, and create some lines that goes from the dark to the rest of the effect just to make a little more pop of red onto the effect.
you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. It's very tricky and very, very easy to do. I just use cream colors, but you can use eyeshadows, pencil, or whatever the product you have on hand. I'm gonna list the list of products that I use on the bar below. As always, I would appreciate if you give thumbs up to this video if you liked it and subscribe so you don't miss any of my tutorials. If you want any, if you have any requests, you can leave it as a comment. But just remember to check first all the videos that I have already uploaded because maybe there is the request you want that you're doing you requesting me and it's already done and you don't have to wait for me to do it so as always i hope you enjoy this video and see you next one bye